The coolest thing about the antenna is really how thin it is. I think the coolest thing about the Kymeta technology is the beamforming simplicity. When you look at comparable technologies, they use kilowatts. We use USB power. As many of the people that have become exposed to the Kymeta technology have acknowledged, it is truly a game-changing, innovative technology. The ability to have a beamforming electronic antenna solution that opens up all the utility value of mobile for satellite system operators is truly revolutionary. It provides an extraordinary catalyst for change and to open up a massive participation in the broadband value chain that historically has belonged more to the cellular industry and the terrestrial wired industry. What I think is really uh, neat about our technology is that it really addresses some of the basic size, weight, and power constraints which have been a big part of the story, uh, and particularly in mobile satellite communications. When I met Dr. Nathan Koontz and he shared with me what indeed he had been creating with Kymeta. It took about 20 minutes for me to assimilate what he was talking about, and it took me then about two microseconds to realize how important this was going to be and how deeply I wanted to be involved with it. Our panels are only about a centimeter thick, and while we always need a certain amount of aperture area in order to maintain a link, we can often be an almost negligible additional thickness on a platform. But not only is the antenna thinner and, and lighter, but we also don't need mechanical gimbals or motors in order to point, and that certainly helps a lot with weight. If you look at mechanical terminals, you can often be talking about uh, tens or hundreds of watts. It only takes us a few hundred milliwatts to actually scan our antennas, and that's a pretty dramatic contrast to other technologies, and that becomes very important when you're trying to function, say, on a sunny day in Bangladesh. We've been really blessed at Kymeta to recruit um, some phenomenal people, and that's really um, helping us move forward. What I do is I do full wave electromagnetic simulation and design, and I use CST Studio Suite to do that. It allows us to model the antenna, the feed structure, and the operational elements, and uh, model its behavior. And so what is shown behind me is an animation of the electromagnetic behavior of the antenna. So as part of the development process for our antenna technology, I'm primarily uh, involved in the material science of our tunable dielectric materials, as well as the uh, materials aspects of how we integrate the antennas. I also lead our research efforts at Kymeta. My role in the project is to drive electronics. There is a hardware and software component to, to this antenna. It is composed of thousands of, of pixels, and those pixels have to be driven by independent signals, and that's in essence where I come in. I provide the hardware and software that drives these individual pixels. We've made a significant investment in putting a world-class Anacog chamber right here on site, uh, and that allows us to test with a high degree of fidelity um, all the properties of our antennas as we electronically scan them. And so that's one of the exciting things about being here and now in Kymeta is we really can invest in those things and it's accelerating our trajectory towards productization. We are changing the landscape of the antenna satellite communications field. And that's an opportunity that comes along once in a lifetime. And that's why I'm excited. We see it as a new tool that will enable all sorts of new applications and new ways of delivering service by satellite. Kymeta is uniquely positioned to add that mobile and wide area broadband access to fixed mobile and portable devices regardless of where you are on the surface of the planet.